An investigation is underway in Bowling Green today after university sophomore died from an alleged hazing incident. Our Will Uick has the latest. A 20-year-old male that is unresponsive. He does have shallow breathing and has been drinking. The call went out to paramedics late last week after 20-year-old Stone Foltz, a sophomore at Bowling Green State University and new member of Pi Kappa Alpha, was allegedly hazed and made to drink copious amounts of alcohol during an initiation event. I looked out my window and saw there were a bunch of cop cars, fire truck, and ambulance. So I knew something was up. After a roommate found him later that evening, he called 911, and Fultz was taken to the hospital. We had CPR is left in progress. He was kept alive while his family worked with doctors to donate his organs. But Fultz died on Sunday. Somebody's got to pay a price. Somebody's got to take the consequences. Students at the university are still in shock. My heart goes out, you know, to their to the, the individual family involved. I feel, you know, my condolences go out to them. Meanwhile, the university has placed the fraternity on interim suspension and had the residential letters removed from the house. They've also temporarily suspended all Greek life events while they and the police investigate. Like, they don't quite know what's going on, so I think suspending it for now was a perfectly good idea until they can get more facts about the situation. I think I do commend, like, BGSC for taking it seriously, so that just shows how serious of an issue and how serious of a problem they think this is. The incident is also pushing some lawmakers in Ohio to try and reintroduce a bill that would have stricter punishment for hazing and bullying. Collins Law was introduced last year, but it never became a law. Now, in light of this incident in Bowling Green, it may see some swift action in the coming days. Will Uick, 3 News.